So is this the pivot that a lot of Republicans have actually been calling for and actually waiting for? On the phone, former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown, an early backer of Donald Trump. Senator Brown, uh, you know, this kind of stuff has been in a rumor mill for a long time, but it's always shocking when it happens. Uh, Corey Lewandowski has since been on television, gave a pretty impressive interview where he's, he's expressed a tremendous amount of loyalty, but it seems to most outsiders that the Trump campaign is in disarray. I don't agree with that at all, Charles. I think it's actually moving in a positive direction because there was uh, obviously you know, uh, Paul wanted to go one way, Corey wanted to go another way. He has others who want him to go a different way. The fact that he's now getting everything under one uh, one roof, I think, is appropriate. Is the backing of his children and Manafort's been there. He's done it. And to take nothing away from Corey, to take what uh, you know this fledgling campaign and make him uh, be the nominee, uh, I thought was brilliant. But you, like any business and like any campaign, you've got to adjust and adapt and, and grow, and that's what they're doing. So the, the very issue of adjusting, adapting, and growing, it, it, to some degree. Is an admission that things aren't going the way you guys have planned for it to go? Like, and particularly more recently, with the polls beginning to slip, uh, what's the difference? What does Manafort bring that Corey just wasn't getting done? Well, first of all, let's talk about the polls for a minute. If people think that this election's over, then they're not only uh, they've never run a race, uh, they've never participated in close order and battles in a race, and um, they uh, they really. You know, don't understand where this you know, Donald Trump in particular and, and how he's always been underestimated. Uh, Corey, listen, Corey played a very important role, no doubt. But there are others there that can jump in. It's almost like the New England Patriots. I, I'm, I'm with, you, I'm with you, Senator Brown, but I'm asking, what's the difference? What skill set does Manafort have? Well, experience. That, I okay. It's pretty, pretty obvious. I mean, it's experience. You referenced it in your opening. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows how to get down in the gutter and and get things done, and or he knows how to really reach out and, and, and build bridges. Uh, it's experience, period. So you, 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 you're you talking about some people now uh, writing off the Trump campaign. I, I would think at this stage of the game, everyone knows that's a huge mistake, but there's no doubt the Democrats are, are sensing some blood in the water. I want you to take a listen, a listen to what Elizabeth Warren, your old nemesis, had to say <laughs> about you and, and Donald Trump. Yep. I hear that Donald Trump is floating Scott Brown as a possible running mate. <laughs> and I thought, ah, so Donald Trump really does have a plan to help the unemployed. <laughs> Think of it as the perfect reality TV show. <laughs> Celebrity Apprentice meets The Biggest Loser. <laughs> Out, Senator Brown, what do you say? Well, she's used that line about 30 times, and you know, at some point, Charles, her, her, the fact that she spent about half the time at the Democratic convention in New Hampshire, uh, you know, hitting on me, it, it's getting a little creepy, to be honest with you. Uh, and then you put in the fact that, uh, you know, she is obviously using gender-based jokes to hide the fact that she's done nothing in her years there compared to my right. you know, record, which is, is quite a, a record of accomplishment. It, it's a little bit sad, but I get it. You know, obviously, I... Uh, I still uh, am, am bothersome. You, you, you struck a chord, uh, Senator Brown. You struck a chord. Hey, thank, thank you very much for calling in. And uh, again, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks. All right, Charles.